Hello students, today we are going to see a very important topic in community medicine that is epidemiology and specifically today we are going to deal with descriptive epidemiology. So first and foremost, if a student answers this question, answers this question in the viva without missing any line given in this definition, I will definitely pass the student irrespective of how he performs in his examination. I will definitely pass the student if he writes the entire definition correctly. <laughs> Why? Because this is the essence of community medicine. This is one of the pillar of community medicine. The another pillar is statistics epidemiology and statistics are two pillars of community medicine that is why i am so much fond of this uh, definition and, and i recommend the students to just by heart it thoroughly simply what this definition means the study of occurrence and distribution of occurrence and distribution definitely we are going to study the disease as a distribution not as a single entity but we are going to study the distribution of disease either in a local community or at national india level or at global level it is just the distribution we are going to study what distribution it is a distribution of diseases it is the distribution of events that is accident is a event health problems anemia is a health related state so remember these things health related state means anemia hypertension diabetes these are all states events means accidents natural calamities disasters events and processes here what they mean is health related processes or health related programs the national health programs are there no so whether these programs how it is being uh, uh, distributed all over india and uh, what are the determinants of success of a program anyway examples like this i am giving you health related state means this event means this process means this so it is the distribution of health related state event and processes in specified population of course we are going to see this in the specified population it could be a, a national population it could be a state level population but this population is the denominator in any epidemiological study remember epidemiologists are people who are always in search of denominator so uh, in specified population including the study of determinants influencing such processes so don't get confused with this term here this sentence here study of determinants means the determinants are like uh, see the national health program or some health intervention so we are we have found out uh, what could be effective in uh, controlling a disease so we put that in the national program so that is a determinant we find out uh, what could be effective in control of a health problem if we put that that is a determinant so the determinants influencing the such processes uh, so by this what we did we gathered rich knowledge so the application of this knowledge to the control of relevant health problems so that's all very simple definition but uh, it is given like uh, in terms of diseases events and programs processes that's why it is little confusing but just memorize it properly the study of occurrence and distribution of health related states events and processes in specified population including the study of determinants influencing such processes and the application of this knowledge to the control of relevant health problems i hope you are very clear now with this definition just memorize it and uh, tell it as soon as you get up from bed early in the morning okay let's go into descriptive epidemiology